development system play the pivotal role in developmental processes. They are vibrant, accurate, in preferring common resolution to communal problems. While we look at government projects across the state, we will also be looking at how communities of our generation successfully organize themselves to build roads, palaces, drains, schools, halls, amongst many others. Welcome to another episode of Lagos Community Updates. I am Adejoke Shodendi Adenyoju. How is your community faring? Let's see. Grassroots and community participation is key to the development of every state and nations, especially in developing countries. To this end, the Lagos State Government encouraged active grassroots participation in governance by giving adequate recognition to community development associations, known as CDAs, in the state. Statutorily, the CDAs are saddled with the responsibility of owing, executing and maintaining projects within their communities. They also serve as representatives of governments in their communities across the country to promote necessary collaborative efforts and strategies for effective community-oriented project initiatives. In Lagos State, there are now over 3,900 community development associations spread across the 20 local governments and 37 local council development areas. One of such is Peace Estate CDA. Situated in the fast-growing environs of Ikorodu West, LCDA, Our visit to the peaceful area, we were welcomed by the sight of a newly constructed culverts and graded roads. We have drainages in some streets of, in our estate, as you can see. We have culverts, about seven culverts in our community. Four to the entrance and three internal culverts. We use this for all the drainages issues we have so that our community can be more durable. We have opened up all the roads in the community and we grade the road every year. So that is another thing we have done. We have barricade to all our street entrance from the main road. Yeah, we have that. Then we have the transformer. We install the transformer by ourselves. After installation of the camera, we do the networking. We have about over 60 posts, concrete posts, that we have uh, we installed. And we did the networking of those electrical appliances in our estate. Every February, before the rains come, we are sure that we grade the entire estate. We did it last February now, this February. We did it, um, we completed it the first week of February. All the entire street and we spent millions doing the grading. And that's why the road is so smooth everywhere. So we have accessibility, the weeds are cleared, have no, nowhere for anybody to hide. So everything is there, uh, we're living fine. But only that standing even in peace estate why? Bugbo on lo try gidi gidi gon fun bugbo wa inu peace estate. She ti 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 ni kaso ni ti won grade fun wa lo dodun. Abiti oko ti won ma ro la dugbo. Abiti awon ino awon ino electric awon ino ijoba ti won se fun wa ni. Orisirisi nkan be lo ti se fun wa ti a o ti e le so. 
tori ta ba ni pe ka ma wo ilu yi igbo ni ni gba kan ti o ba nse awon leaders ta ni ninu ilu yi ni gogo bi o si ma wa ni igbo sugbon won try gele gan peace estate is a developing community of about 2000 inhabitants it is a community of average income earners striving to complement the effort of governor babaji de sonwolu in developing their community Residents explain the road they plied to achieve these minimal developments within a short time period. Pulling resources together, having people being, being generous enough to make generous contributions has helped the estate in not a little way. And that's why we have everything that we need. In fact, we are collecting 1,000 upon tenants in our community, which you know that that one is known, cannot even pay the security. But we use a winner win approach. The people that are a little bit blessed in the community, they donate to some of this project in order to actualize the project. Since we have the transparency and the accountability of whatever we are doing, so people believe in us and they believe in our project. It's the encouragement. You know, when people see that when they pay and they see the dividends of their payment, they be happy to pay more. And that's why we have been transparent in all areas. We carry our people along, so when they see, they are happy to pay more. Our success is that each department has leaders. Like the Education Committee now, we have a leader there. Like Security, we have a leader there. Like the Road Grading, we have a leader there. So all those committees, they are working hand in hand to make sure that uh, the image of this piece of state is lifted. This is the biggest cover so far. We have four, but this is the major one that links to our sister's uh, CDAs. For city dwellers relocating downtown towards Ikorodu, finding a community with good electricity has always been the first choice. And to light up the community, Members of Peace Estate CDA embarked on the purchase of new transformer and installation of electricity pole and cables within the 10 streets that made up the CDA. With regards to lighting, we had to pull resources together, got in touch with uh, Ikeja Electric, and uh, we went to partnership with them and, uh, in order to procure a, a transformer, 500 kVA. And even when the transformer came, we had to do the networking. There were wooden poles everywhere then, so we had to replace them with uh, concrete poles, about 40 to 50 of them, and then do the, Then there were only three lines. So we had to have a complete four, four cables on the, on the line, so that we have three lines everywhere. And since then, no issues at all. Everything you see is from the community effort. So all these poles, wires, insulators, mention them, is from this money. All this road that we are, we grade it on yearly base. It has added value to the landed properties. Then to the people in the estate, you can see shops, cold rooms, welders, all of them, they are coming because of the security, the light, and the development. So our efforts have brought value and gain to the community. As at that time, like, living here was so dull. People were having to go to Ikurudu, to Agrik and Ishawu. Either to, our houses were so were vacant, people were not coming to stay here. But as soon as our light became steady, people were coming from everywhere to get accommodation in Peace Estate. So it sort of raised our economy. Yes, the living standard improved completely. As the community keeps growing in band and width, the people here deem it necessary to name and number the various streets. We have house numbering and a street naming in our estate, as you can see, because we see that locating a place is very important for an outsider or a stranger coming to our community. So we take it very necessary and uh, we took up the project, the challenge of doing the street naming and uh, numbering of each houses in all the community.
In line with Governor Sonwolu's agenda to create a safe and secured Lagos, the community leaders employed the services of security personnel and equipped them with modern security facilities. We have 10 cameras precisely in our city. Each street has a camera and the camera covers the whole of the street. The cameras are solar, they are powered with solar energy and they have two backup batteries, so they work 24 hours. So we have some security intelligence that work with us in the community, voluntarily, that people in the community, they are, not, they are unaware about them. And we use a communication device. As you can see this walkie talking, all the executive have this, and all our intelligent observer, they have this walkie talking. And our vigilante, the security vigilante we use, they have the walkie talking as well. So we use that to communicate 24 hours. And as you can see, this device works up to about five kilometers. So from the junction, that is, uh, junction, Igolom junction, that is about five kilometers away from it, we normally communicate using this our device. Uh, the crime rate will be minimal in the community. And that is why we venture into that uh, 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 pro project. According to them, the project has helped to cope security challenges experienced before now. Ever since we have recorded the cameras, we have never recorded any crime incident. In fact, the very first day we recorded the cameras, at 1 a.m. when we were chasing where all the activities are moving, we have all the boys that are running around. And ever since then, it has, everything has slowed down, so they've left our community. With the scarcity of resources, members of Peace Estate CDA have greatly relied on their sheer will and desire to see to the progressive development of their community. They rightly boast that this is just the beginning of the work and vision for the estate, while also appealing to corporate organizations and government at all levels to render assistance to them in whatever capacity. What we do is that we knew that our members need access to portable water. And that is why not only the CDA, even we encourage some community members as well to uh, that have power to have a, uh, a borehole water, to give an extension of that water. And such water projects that you have seen, we have so many of them in our community. We have about seven to eight that they are either by the community or by individuals. We use this to make life easier for the community. Uh, we want to use this opportunity to call on MTN, ATS Alert, uh, Global Com, all of them, they have their mask in our estate. One is even just springing up at a uh, saying street. We are asking them to collaborate with us and make the, do their, they, they, they be responsible in their community. We are asking them to come to our aid in whatever area they can. of every society lies in the quality of its youth. No doubt, youth are the vanguard of change in any community and nation at large. Little wonder, most of Nigeria's era's past fought for the country's independence from colonial rule in their youth days. Late Chief Anthony Enauru, Sir Abubakar Tafa Baliwa, Nnamdi Azikwe, and Chief Obafemi Awolowo, to mention a few. As a youth, how are you contributing to the development of your community? Struggling with an answer? Not to worry. Sit back and learn from comrade Oluwarotimi, the enthusiastic, energetic and tactical youth in Akoka Progressive Community Development Association, Shomolu local government area, whose community activism is felt by all and geared towards complementing Governor Sonwolu's efforts in the actualization of a greater Lagos. Akoka as a community with intellects, intellectuals and a, a community of potentials, I discovered that so many things are not actually 
going the way I want it. And I feel we cannot leave the community in that situation. We need to participate. The community needs us. So through my school days, I began to arrange how to pull the like minds together. The youth, unemployed, and undergraduates. So, but the value for that is not reflecting in our activities to the government, uh, to the community, because most people don't have time, and the youth, they always think of, oh, let me get admission and go to outside Lagos or whatever. So, when it comes back, those periods, a lot of things will just remain stagnant. And within the level of experience, what I've been able to do across Chemolu, I've seen that we need more to get involved so that this community can be placed where it needed to be placed. At least, it's the grace of God for me to be given the opportunity or to have the opportunity to at least contribute a little. God has bestowed upon me to the community and giving some leadership about service. And that, I've not allowed anything to take that away from me. Because our focus is on, is on youth advocacy. Oluwaro Timi, Olawale Oluyele, was born on the 9th of November 1973 in Akure, Undo State, where he had his primary education. In 1992, he moved to Lagos and settled in Akoka community. He attended St. Fimbas College, Akoka, for his secondary education and proceeded to Yaba College of Technology, where he studied mechanical engineering. He sought further knowledge at the Lagos State University, where he backed a degree in computer science. He worked in the banking sector for a while, after which he took a decision to be self-employed. We visited his community and discovered more about his community activism and reasons why he made up his mind to contribute his quota to defend and develop Lagos State through the platform of his Community Development Association. Comrade Oruluwaru Timiolioyede is a man of many capacities. When it comes to issue of community development, he is a builder. He happens to be a point, a rally point for the youth when it comes to moving them towards community development. He struggled a lot with the uh, members of the youth section, which we call the progressive. He collected the, the boys together and he championed them to see what they can do to improve themselves and also to participate actively in the development of the area in which they live. Uh, he's very enthusiastic, he's energetic, and he's very tactful. Uh, it was a tug of war for us to get this canal cleared. For many years, it didn't move. And I'm sure without him in that section, we couldn't have achieved what we achieved today with the canal problem. <laughs> Anything he, he wants to do, no, nothing can, dis, can, can disturb me from doing it. Especially in the field of environment, environmental sanitation. He has done a lot to help this community and, gen, and Chomolu in general. We had have, we have problems some times ago, and this problem even almost led to an overflow of the canal that disturbed the community. He went to, to inform the government about it. Thank you, thank God that the government came around and uh, the, 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 the canal was evacuated. I can remember vividly during the lockdown, Comrade Oluwa wrote me through ACOS, championed the cause of feeding people 
in this community, people that were hungry, and in fact, several thousands of no smart was distributed. Another thing that agrees with what Governor Sanwolu is doing, that Comrade has been doing in our, our society, is a cleaner and safe environment, such that if you look at Lagos State at light today, one of the states that is most cleaner and safer for people to inhabit is Shomolu local government. And that has been made possible through the activity of Comrade Olua Rotimi. He has been a very big asset to this community. One of the memorable things for me, that was a particular community meeting, facilitated by Save the Children, an international partner. Then we have this issue of canal. Because this place being a deposited water prone, flood prone, for mushing, everything comes down to Akoka Confluence Point here, Bajula by Abulelisha and Adetayo Shore. Then we have these floods. So but through the community service through uh, Save the Children, we were championing whatever that can reduce malaria and uh, health related issues in the community. So from the rising from the meeting, the conclusion that we should do a letter to notify them of the situation they are for their immediate or prompt intervention. Of course, we raised that letter to the glory of God. It was acknowledged, but fortunately, they responded. One of the traits of greatness in human is the ability to strike a balance between family life and fulfillment of one's purpose. Oluwa Rotimi has been able to merge both together successfully. He's a community man and he's very outworking. People comment and they all like him. The way he do things. And to, uh, to me at times, if I said, hey, hey, hello, comrade, you have not been home by this time. What happened? I'm doing something. Just give me 30 minutes. And that 30 minutes, he will be with you. Like uh, in the morning before we left him, he do assist me. In the afternoon, he will call me as the children close. He pick them up. Even before I got home from shop, perfectly, everything is done. My wife understand what I'm into. And uh, since I've read banking, he knows I just, but I give my little time that when I'm free to the family, to ensure that at least my children also, but 24-7, you must get me doing something in this community. Life as a roller coaster is filled with ups and downs. Having experienced the two sides of life, he has this to say to his contemporaries. Tough times of being killed. You just have to be yourself. The situation should not change whom you are. Okay? Just be positive in what you know how to do. And particularly discover that, that you know that freely without anybody, you can do. At times, service may not be money, but the joy is that people you do, at least, not all of them, at least 45% of them acknowledge and appreciate you for that. You are good to go. Breakthrough doesn't come easily. You have to put your time and energy into it and believe in yourself. Our community champion for today shares same ideology with Governor Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, particularly on environment, which is one of the things agenda of the number one citizen of Lagos State. He is unrelenting in ensuring a clean, safe and secured environment in his community and beyond. Environment is about grassroots. It involves a lot of things. So the communitarian need to, they are involved because when you have a clean and healthy environment, health issues will reduce. Because that is why it's the poise of this government to sustain a cleaner, safer, secured and environmentally hygienic atmosphere for a prosperous Shomolu, not only Akoka. I am down to heart to all program of His Excellency, Governor, Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, Governor of Lagos State.
welcome to this episode of Lagos Community Update. We want to leave you with this. Coronavirus is real. Let's join hands with the state government to avert the community spread of the pandemic. With that, we wrap up today's episode. Remember, you can join our social media platforms for comments and suggestions. And in case you have projects or programs in your community, do call the numbers on your screen. I am Adejoke Shodendia, then you're due to like come your way again next time.